Everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to go over the Model Y here and what the actual smart summon feature is in the actual summon feature. So we're going to go over that and uh, kind of explore how good it is and uh, kind of give it a ranking. So let's get this video started right now. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the Tesla app here and we're going to go down to the summon feature right here in the app. Now, this is going to go over my location and then what it's going to do is it then gives me this little arrow kind of a bullet point there where I can get it to go to to that target but there's also another feature where you can actually from a parking space let's say you are close I'll give you an example let's say i'm cl pretty close to my f-150 lightning over there and uh, and i want to get on maybe the passenger side or whatever i can then press this button to go back and then the model y with me holding the back button is then going to back up safely of course um, to a reasonable distance and then let's say, you know what, uh, right there is perfect. So I'll let off my finger and then it stops. Well, you know what, maybe I need to go back forward. So I'm going to press it to go back forward. And then it's going to now pull up and go forward. No one is in the vehicle there at all. Uh, it is literally just pulling this vehicle up because I'm pressing the forward and backwards button there. And then I'm going to stop and let it go. So it's right there. The other feature I'm going to show you is the actual smart summon, which will then I'm going to move the car over in this area here. And then I'm going to have it pull back over and pick me up here at the front door. So let's do that now. All right. So now I've parked it basically on the brim of the distance where it will actually uh, smart summon. So you'll see the car is way over there. I just parked at one of the stalls here uh, where we uh, we can get the car vacuum and everything. Now I've gotten the app back up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the little target area right over top of me. And then I'm going to hit go to target here. Now you can also see the cameras around it. So you can see some people vacuuming around the car and everything. And I'm going to hit go to target. And then as I hold the vehicle, it is now going to uh, drive all the way to me. And, uh, and come over here. So you're going to see it's backing up a little bit, which is kind of interesting. Not sure why it's backing up, but it's going to pull forward. Now, this is an interesting thing because there's going to be trucks moving around here. Uh, it's really, whew, this is kind of scary. I'm going to be honest with you because now it's, it's driving without anybody in the vehicle and it's got its hazards on. Uh oh. Uh, now I'm going to press again. Release the stop. I got hazards on. Oh no. I guess it got out of its distance. So let's restart this. Hold on, I'm gonna walk over. A few moments later. So I'm not sure why it ended up stopping. It just got uh, put its hazards on after that truck pulled out in front of it and then it stopped. So uh, we're gonna reset this. I parked it back at a closer uh, vacuum station and uh, thankfully everything's not really too, too busy right this second, but uh, good good test here. Let's restart this and try it again. Again, you'll see the car there over the gas or the, uh, the vacuum station. I'm gonna do the summon here again and I'm gonna press go to target. Now it you have to, uh, you got to hold it there so it doesn't stop. Now, I've got my finger on it, not uh, not releasing at all, and uh, here it comes here. So, it's driving itself here. Again, nobody's in this vehicle at all. It's getting out of the way because a car is coming, and it wanted to pull over. Not sure what it's doing, and it stopped again. Interesting. All right, let's stop. Start this again. I think I see what's going on here. So when I press and hold it, it says stop due to a uh, public or high speed road. Which interesting is uh, obviously this is a public road, uh, but it's really not high speed. So let's just try to park it on this side of the parking lot. One eternity later. So I moved it on this side of the parking lot. You'll see it right there behind my big head. But we've uh, we moved it on this side of the parking lot, and it's, I guess according to the app, you cannot cross any public roads there, um, which kind of makes sense. I mean, let's be honest, it, it doesn't want to be drive, uh, driving by itself completely on a on a public road. Uh, but it, it's just kind of interesting. I mean, you know, you would think that it would uh, it would at least cross one road. It's not really not going on the road. It's just literally crossing over it. But um, Maybe that'll come in the future. We'll see. So let's uh, get this started and let's try this uh, for a third time. So we're over there and uh, here we go with the Tesla app. And uh, we're going to get the smart summon started here. And um, interesting, it says it cannot use on public or high speed roads. It still thinks it's on the road there, <laughs> interestingly enough. Um, okay, let's park this in a parking spot then. So we parked it in a parking spot now, um, kind of backing up as far as I can possibly go in this um, parking lot here. So we're going to turn around and get it started right here. So again, bring up the app, 
Uh, let's go and see if it will do the summon. And this time it's connecting here. And this time it will. So let's move our target over to me and click go to target. And here we go. All right, hazards are on. It's letting everybody know that it's driving itself. And it's backing up here. Let's see if it will make it over to us here. And it lost signal. It lost signal, interestingly enough. Um, I have not stopped. Uh, let's try it again. So is actually smart summon actually smart? <laughs> so here we go. Uh, cell server is go uh, good here all around my area. See that I got uh, full bars of 5G. So not sure why it's uh, it's struggling to get there. Uh, it's uh, it's coming around tight here. It's going to, uh, looks like it's going to uh, come around and draw, pull me up to the passenger side of the vehicle. So uh, it's going to pull straight to me and stop awkwardly right there. And so it's a summon complete, and you can see me on the front camera and everything with my camera. Uh, but it did do it after uh, that's four attempts that I had to do. Um, no, five attempts because I, it just stopped because it lost signal. So five attempts to get it over to me, and uh, and it doesn't cross public roads there. So, um, anyways, actual smart summon. You know, I, I'm kind of debating on how many times I would actually use this feature. Um, but it is a cool little nifty trick. My wife showed it to uh, some people yesterday there. Um, as you can tell, uh, we, we work at the, uh, the Salvation Army here. Um, so, uh, you know, we, uh, we, we've got this Model Y and everything. Well, my, my wife does work at the Salvation Army. But uh, anyways, long story short, I mean, she showed her, uh, her bosses and everything. And uh, it was a cool little trick. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, is it really, it really that useful? Um, I'm not sure. You know, that's really up for debate. But um, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. If you haven't done so already, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And if you're looking to buy a new Tesla, I do have my referral link in the description below. Click on that link to save some money on your next new Tesla. Why would you buy a car without using a referral link? It saves you some money uh, on that Tesla purchase. So if you're looking for one, click in the comment section below and uh, click on the referral link. And we'll see you guys in the next video.